cual Tienen moña Tienen feria Y mentira que al final Ellos tan, 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 tan a otro nivel Hey, what's up guys? This is Mario from TDN Team Death Note TDN Back at it again, you feel me? So, today we're coming with uh, Starter Dex opening So, you guys already know um, Bring that down so we can show you real quick Remember my boy Vegeta here? Yeah, how you got there, man? Alright So Any, mini money, more catch the best about it You eliminated Let's start out with this one first. My man, Barda. Let's see what's happening here. Boop. Okay, we got a little. We got a little play mat where you put the leader card, the battle area. Where the field card goes and the battle cards, our combo area, and the energy area. Pretty cool. I like the color to this one, it's different. Okay. Whatever, however you close that. Now, let's get on to the real deal. Bam. Oh, yeah, guys, I forgot to tell you guys. It also comes with a little um, playman manual. I mean, with the play manual. In a second here. <clears throat> Just like some of the cards that are coming in. Pretty nice, pretty nice. The back, it just give you some strategies. Um, some of the um, strategics to be open oh yeah and i would like to tell you guys that um we did order our boxes through bearded collectibles and we just waiting for all boxes to come in we just got the tracking number to today it was sometime by noon i think we got the tracking number so we might have the boxes in by saturday hopefully if not we should be having it by monday and we will be doing that the unbox um, openings for you guys okay so let's, let's be gone with this. Let's see if we have something that opens here. And we are going to be coming, don't worry you guys, we are going to be coming with a lot of creative decks. Especially the so-called underrated decks like that people like to say. Just because it's not foil. Okay. This does have a little thing so you can open the, the starter deck pretty easily. Okay. We're going to start out with Bardock. The Mask Saiyan, that's his, his regular side and his awakening side, is Bardock Unbound by Darkness. So, uh, his skill, active main once per turn, place three cards, place the top three cards of your deck into the drop area. If you place a black card in the drop area with this skill, this card gains critical. For you guys that don't know, critical is that whenever you inflict damage to your opponent, instead of they, they taking the, the life to the hand, it goes straight to the drop area. Um, and else, let me see. Critical for the for against critical for the duration of the turn. If a card of any other color is placed in the drop area, this card also gains plus 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. Awakening when your life is at four or less, you may draw two cards. And flip the card over, which is this side. Look how beautiful that card looks. So that side, active main once per turn. Place the top three cards of your deck in the drop area. If you place a black card in the drop area with this skill, 
this card gains critical for the duration of the turn. If a card of any other color is placed in the drop area, this card also gains plus 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. And it also has an auto. When, it, when this card attacks, you draw one card. So, there you, got, there, there you guys go. Now, the next card we have two copies of. <clears throat> this is Killer Sword Trunks. Xeno Evolve 4. Uh, trunk Xeno. So basically you will Xeno Evolve on top of uh, a Trunk Xeno. Uh, play this card in active mode by sending the specified card from your battle area to your warp area. So you take a, a, a Trunk Xeno from your battle area and you send it to your warp area and you play this card on top. Pretty cool. It has double strike and this card also has auto. When this card evolves into, when a card evolves into this card, choose up to one battle card in your warp with energy cost three or less and play it. Great card. Great card, guys. Okay. Next card that we have. We have four of. We have four of the other trunks. His name is Quick Blade Trunks. Over Realm 2. You know, uh, you take, you need to have at least a minimum two cards in your, in your drop area, and you put it to your warp area. So, whatever type of cards you have in your drop area, you put them, you put all of it into your warp area. Um, that's it, that's, that's all he has. He, he can, he can be warped. So next card, only two copies of. It's um, Encroaching Tr Threat Mask Saiyan. His, his effect is a permanent. When this card went, this card can attack battle cards that are in active mode. He has a 20k body. Permanent. When you've sent seven or more cards to your warp. Reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand and warp by one. This is pretty, this is pretty, this is pretty cool. This card is pretty amazing. So we have two of this card, which is the Power Aura Mirror over Realm 3. Um, when you permanent. When you have three or more cards in your warp, in your warp, this card gains plus five thousand power. If you have five or more cards in your warp, this card gains an additional plus five thousand power. So basically, if you have five or more, this card will be swinging for twenty-five k, which is pretty pretty amazing. Wow, we got these two cards here, old cards. I uh, remember this is like from set one. <coughs> There's a Son Gohan Family of Justice. He's a blocker. Okay. More staple cards from set one. Energy Power Gotens. We already know what you do. When this card has an auto, when this card attacks the leader, uh, your, your opponent has to choose one card from his hand and discard it. Two, Bundle of Curiosity, Son Goku. <clears throat> when you play, draw one card. Four, Green Vegetas with a 15k body. Okay, we have four of this card. I've never seen this card. So... This is Pressure Assault Super Saiyan Son Goku. He has dual attack. He has a specified of three green. Auto. When you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent battle card 
KO that card. Amazing card. The card, um, despite that he attacks twice, once you play him, you can actually KO one of your opponent battle cards. This is a very, very, very amazing card. Four. Unyielding Justice Super Saiyan 2 Trunks. Evolve. By tapping one green and two other cards. You have to evolve on top of a future Trunks. I mean Trunks Future, same thing. He's a blocker and he has barrier. And he's a he has an auto. When a card evolves into this card, draw one card. Amazing card. So we have four of the one drop trunks. Drop trunks, bridge to the future, auto. When you play this card, look at the top two cards from your top of your deck. Choose up to one Saiyan among them and add it to your hand. Then place the rest of the cards in the drop area. This card is amazing. Even it also sets you up to do over round, and you can also thin out your deck. Just check, um, let me see what it's up to. Yeah, look at up to two cards. So, pretty neat. If you were to, to, if you were to like play Time Patrol, where well, you know you, you warp, call them out there, you check the top two, you put one in hand, and the other card you can either put place it on the top of the deck or on the bottom of the deck. And if you also know actually what you had on the top of the deck, you can just play this guy and just take that one card and you don't really have to f um, see the, the extra card to put it to your drop area. Just pretty, pretty amazing. We have two of this guy, which is Unrelenting Assault Trunks over room three. And he has an auto. When this card is sent to the warp, from your battle area or deck, add it to your hand. Amazing card, especially with the with the card um, that I spoke of in the beginning. That trunks. That when you Zen evolve, you put one of the trunks to the to the uh, is it to the drop area. This card is sent to the warp. Yeah, that trunks that sends to the warp, you can just bring this card right back. So that's a pretty that's pretty neat. Just add it right back to your hand. Recycle, recycle, recycle. We have four of the super combo. <clears throat> okay, super combo. When you combo with this card, if there are five or more cards in your warp area, draw one card. And this card gains plus 10,000 combo for the duration of the turn. So basically just plus 10k draw one card. We have four copies of Toa Space Time Unleash. Although when you play this card, look at top seven cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one mirror or mask Saiyan. From among them and add it to your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Searchers, searchers. Great, great, great card. We have two of this extra card. Dark plot. Active main. Choose up to one battle card in your warp with an energy cost of four or less and play it. If you use this card, if you use this skill to play a battle card with Overrealm. Choose up to three of your energy and switch it to active mode. Wow, this card is so OP. And we have four of the negates, which basically uh, is a counter attack. Negate the attack, then you place two cards from your hand in the drop area. If you do so, add this card to your hand. Crazy card. 
Remember that was the Bardock leader that we just covered. Now let's go over to the other segment. <clears throat> Basically it brings everything again, the same thing. I'm gonna just show you this. Um, Wow, this one was pretty nice. This one actually has the city. Wow, real cool, real cool. Same thing, leader, battle area, combo, energy area. Real nice, real nice. And we just have the manual. I give you tips and stuff on how you can play the deck. How you can probably construct your deck. So the leader, Son Goku, Son Goku GT. Auto when this when this card when this card attacks a leader, draw one card. When your life is at four or less, you may choose up to two of your energy, switch them to active mode, and flip this card over. So like other cards, normally when you awaken, you will normally draw two cards, but this one you would. Switch two cards to active mode. This card already does a lot because every time you swing to the leader, you're drawing a card. So, which is pretty great. Look at his awakened side. Look how beautiful that card looks. Tell me, tell me, guys. Tell me if that card is not sexy looking. Okay. His, this one is Rising Spirit Super Saiyan Sun Goku. Permanent. During your turn, when your life is at three or less... This card gains plus 5,000 power. So it's a permanent, even on your opponent's turn. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. During your turn. I'm sorry. During your turn. When your life is at three or less, this card gains plus, plus, plus 5,000 power. Auto. When this card attacks, draw one card. And if this card's power is 25 or more, it gains double strike. Woo-wee. This card is very powerful, guys. Very powerful. So we have the six drop, two copies, one foil, one non-foil. So, Broken Limit Super Saiyan 3 Sun Goku. EX Evolve. You tap one red. Place one card from your hand in the drop area. Red Sun Goku GT. With an energy cost four or less, I mean four or more. Play this card on top of the specified card. Auto. When one of your cards attack, this card gains plus 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. Then, if this card's power is 40k or more, this card gains triple strike. Whew. This card is very broken, guys. Very, very, very broken. Next card is four copies of Unbreakable Super Saiyan Son Goku. X Evolve, two red, one any other, and one any color. On top of a Son Goku GT. It has barrier. When this card evolves, auto. When this card evolves, into this card, or if you combo with this card, draw one card. This card is very dangerous, guys. I won't even evolve. I'll just combo with them. Why not? I'm drawing anyways. Two pan. Russian warrior pan. Auto. 
when you play this card, choose up to one of your red leader cards or red battle cards. That card gains plus 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. Auto. When you combo with this card from the battle area, draw one card. So basically, if she's out on the field and if you combo with her, you gain plus, you get to um, draw one card. Pretty neat. She's pretty cool. It seems that you can also even combo her on your opponent's turn and get to draw one card. She's too much. Two of my men. Chain attack trunks. Evolve by tapping two red on top of a trunks GT. Permanent. When this, this card can attack battle cards that are in active mode. 20k body. Auto. When you play this card, choose up to one battle card from your hand with power of 15,000 or less and play it. This was going to be great with the Bobbity. It's still great. You just, you know, with the, with the new Errata of Bobbity, you need to have at least six red energy. But this card is still amazing because we have BCC Gohan. We have um, the six drop Gohan. If you got three cards or less, he becomes, well, no, it won't count because it's 15 or less. But there's a bunch of good cards out there that's 15 or less. You can just call out. Okay. It's three or four. Four of this card. Which is print size warrior Sun Goku auto. When you play this card, look at the top seven cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one red Sun Goku GT among them and add it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Pretty amazing card. We have four. Shocking future Son Goku. Auto at the end of the battle. At the end of the battle. The at the end of the battle. After you combo with this card, choose up to one Son Goku GT with 5,000 or less power from your deck and add it to your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Great card. It's great for deck thinning and getting those dangerous Gokus to your hand. We have two pans. 10k. 10k vanilla. So we have, I would say, one of the MVP cards to this starter deck, which is a size 2 trunks, whose name is Quick Rush Trunks, that has critical, guys. Critical. Too much for the 15k body. He even goes great with the size 4 trunks that I just read. If you have a red card 15 or less from your hand, just play it. You can play him. Too much. So we have the new, I'm going to say, super combo. Although when you combo with this card, if your leader card is red and your life is at 4 life or less, draw one card. Then the card gains plus 10,000. So it's just a 10K, 10K draw. Now we have my man here. Oob. The tribe. So hidden power Oob. Double striker, 20K. He's got a, he has two red specific. Three drop. He's too much. Too much. Now. We have another MVP to the deck, which some of you guys played um, Van, um, Yu Gi Oh! He will be considered like a Cyber Dragon. He's a blocker. First of all, his name is Bodyguard Legic. He's a blocker. And he has a permanent. When your opponent has a battle card in their battle area, 
and you have no battle cards in your battle area, you can play this card from your hand without paying its energy cost. Amazing card, especially if you go second. Normally, your opponent will play like a, a bull or something, you know, or a size one card, and they'll just throw it out there. So you really have the advantage to have a blocker, and it's a 15K body. You feel me? Now we have two of this red guy, red funny looking guy. His name is Power Absorbing Lud, or Lud, however you want to call it. Well, whatever rocks your boat, you feel me? So, he has a permanent. If Pan is not under this card, it cannot attack. Active main, once per turn. Choose one battle card in your battle area. No, no. Choose one battle card in your drop area and place it under this card. This card gains double strike. Wow, guys. He's a three drop. 25k. The drawback is that if Pan is not under him, you cannot attack. So what? You just make it easy. You're going to um, combo out with that Pan that makes you draw. And make sure you do it. Once you play him, then you get that pan underneath. Put underneath. Now you're swinging for double strike. 25K. You feel me? Now, we have two of the mules. Not from Pokemon. Okay, Dr. Mew. Under baby's control. He's a one drop. Auto. Look at the top three cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one machine mutant or card whose name, cards whose card name includes baby from among them and add it to your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Another way to thin out your deck, guys. Okay. You have here two hidden ability general real doll. Union Absorb. Choose one card. Choose one of each. Nessie. Nat. Bizu. And Ribbit. From your drop area. And place them under this card. Choose one General Rildo. With 25k power from your deck. And place it on top of this card. Then shuffle your deck. Great card for Union Absorb, for the real dose. So we have four of the negate. This card is so crazy. You negate the attack, then you choose up to one of your Saiyan leader cards, and it gains plus 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. And last but not least, we have four of the Grand Tour uh, Spaceship, Active Main, the top seven cards at the top of your deck and choose one Sun Goku GT, Trunks GT, Pan, or Giru with 15 power, 15k or less power and play it. Then shuffle your deck. Okay, guys. Um, that was the actual two starter, um, two starter decks opening. Thank you for watching. And remember, guys, this is Team Death No TDN. We said it first. Team Death Note is now on Patreon. Follow us to unlock exclusive content and watch videos that we release for up to one or more days earlier than on YouTube. With unique tiers such as Namekian Race, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan Elite, Godly Heroes, and Godly Villains. Click the link on the description down below. Now back to the video.